Hi, I'm Brett Swartz, founder of Capital Gains Tax Solutions, where we use the Deferred Sales Trust to help you escape feeling trapped by capital gains tax when you go to sell your commercial real estate, business, primary home, or other highly appreciated asset, or help your clients do the same. In this video, we're gonna cover, can I sell my highly appreciated business, real estate, or other highly appreciated asset, and then invest the funds um, into real estate, all tax deferred, and then turn around and do that all over again, back through the trust? But the answer is absolutely, you can do this. So as a part of the IRC 453 tax code, which we use for the foundation of the structure, we have some very flexible uh, rules uh, that we, can, we need to follow some rules, but very flexible, I guess, terms is a better way to put it. So once the funds are in the trust, up to 80% of the funds can be used uh, to invest into an LLC as long as that LLC is purchasing investment real estate and or a business. It needs to be business purpose. It needs to be investment. It cannot be a primary home. That's considered actual receipt or constructive receipt, which would trigger the tax. So as long as it's investment real estate and as long as it's the business, it works. So let's walk through that. Let's imagine it would say $5 million sale and you find a perfect $2 million piece of property you want to buy. Um, and the next day that you close on the trust, you can use um, um, the Deferred Sales Trust, uh, can invest into an LLC of which you're the managing member of and of which you purchase a property. And so you can manage and own that property the same way you would have. The only difference is you have a partner and the partner happens to be the trust. And this is a, is a, a joint venture the way that this is set up. So you pay back the partner the return of which it turns around and it'll pay you what it owes you as well. So essentially we call it, we kind of call it like the GoFundMe or go fund yourself is another way to put it. We're using the trust to fund your next venture. Okay, so fast forward that $5 million, that $2 million property is worth five and you have an extra $3 million in profit, what happens? Well, the original 2 million goes back into the trust plus the preferred return that was owed to the partner, which is the trust. Now, it typically is structured with an 80-20 split, with 80% to uh, you, uh, the individual who's uh, owning and managing the real estate, um, and as you call that sweat equity, even though you personally put up zero into the into the deal, and the trust gets a 20% of the profit. So that three million after the preferred return would be 80-20 split. And now all the funds go back into the trust. Now that 80% though can also go back into the trust or you can pay tax on that, it's really up to you. And now you have an even bigger amount in the deferred sales trust, all tax deferred, of which again, you can do the same thing the next day or do it at a different date, which is really, uh, really uh, an important strategy to consider uh, the timing of everything. So we want to encourage you to look at optimal timing. And in the meantime, the funds can be invested in stocks, bonds, mutual funds uh, based upon your own risk tolerance or balance portfolio and, uh, and then back into real estate again. So I know that is a lot to cover on this short video. So we would love the opportunity for you to connect with us one on one and we can walk through your particulars and see if we can help you out. You can go to capitalgainstaxsolutions.com right now and you can click on schedule a free one-on-one -on -one consultation and also enter your, your information into the Deferred Sales Trust Calculator and we can discuss in detail. So we look forward to connecting with you soon. Thanks so much for watching this video.